I'm a little bit nervous to light a gummy bear on fire. Yeah, I fucked up. Twenty thousand dollars, please. <laughs> Lauren, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying and testing viral TikTok DIYs. I essentially want to see if one, they're doable and they're like actually worth spending your resources on and two are they worth the hype some of these videos have like an insane amount of views and likes so like let's take a little investigation let's suss it out first up we have fluid paint pouring but with a dust pan i've done a handful of fluid art projects in the past so i have a little bit of experience here it's been a while though it's definitely been a hot minute so let's see how whoa this is so satisfying oh Okay, so he's mixing and then putting it into the white. What the f are we not gonna see the reveal? Are you kidding me? 4.8 million views and there's no reveal? Sir. Oh, okay, here's another one. This is really cute. Whoa, whoa! Wow, this is so trippy. So this is definitely giving, obviously, a different effect than just like where you mix in the cup and then you flip it upside down and then you'd like the wiggle the canvas run. Wow, I wanna do something like this one. Wow, this has no views and deserves so many more. Okay, let's try it. Okay, it's been a hot minute since I've done any fluid painting. Oh good, a nice start of crusty pink paint. I also never know how much paint I'm gonna end up needing. So I feel like this might be a little bit overkill. I guess we could do like a second piece if it ends up being too much. Oh shit, okay, oh my God. This always happens so much faster than I'm ready for. So I just fill this with white paint. We're gonna trust the process. We're gonna trust our, our, our TikTok viral paint pouring man and we're gonna trust this process. I really have no idea how much paint to do in here. His dustpan was like really full. That feels like a lot, right? Like that feels like a lot. Okay, okay. Ah! This looks good. Oh shit, the green's kind of making like the poo color. This always happens. But like this cup, she is beautiful. Ooh, this was a good pour. Not entirely sure where the other colors went because I'm just getting blue and pink. God, these cups are just absolutely beautiful when you dump all their shit out. This may need a take two because I'm a little concerned that his dustpan looked much nicer than mine. Whoa, this is really heavy. Normally when I do paint pours, there's definitely a process where you add a little bit of like extra liquid to it, but we just gonna go with it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh. I think I made shit colors. here now we're supposed to do the fluid portion but I think yeah I fucked up I fucked up there's no world where this is moving <laughs> ah god damn it this was a me problem this was absolutely a me problem that needed to be more fluid take two take two everyone hold take two I have uh done a little bit of YouTube video watching and also too I've done so many paint pours like that's on me that's 100% on me. It was a warm-up. It was a warm-up practice. Okay, here we go. New approaches, new approaches, smaller glasses. It's like pouring shots, like the regular shots, except these are wholesome shots. Okay, here we go. Oh God, see, I still don't know if I made it watery enough. Oh my God, okay, I'm going rogue, I'm going rogue. Oh God. This is what happens behind the TikToks that no one shows you. Okay, I feel better about that. Like that feels like it's got a little more, a little more wiggle to it. Here we go. Okay, no baby poo color yet. We're in good shape. Oh, bitch, look at me go. I feel good about this. I feel good about this. I feel good about this. Okay, here we go. Ah! Okay, fluid art portion, here we go. Please have enough. I swear to God, you've gotta be kidding me. Okay, we got a little movement, we got a little movement, we got a little movement. Slow movement. Actually, you don't want it. Got a whole extra one here. We're last minute improvising, last minute improvising. Not my 
my best fluid art. There's like definitely some good sections. Like down here, we've got some, some, okay. I think that with practice, I could do better. But like having done fluid art before, outside of my like first really stupid up, this was definitely not the easiest method. Like fluid art I feel like is pretty easy and this was much more difficult than just doing regular like cup to canvas paint pouring. And now we wait six months for this to dry. Okay, next we've got Katie Studio, who does like these really cool swirly, twirly, circly, like flippity, like flow painting, which I'm sure is the exact genre that she that she calls her art. Okay, this is 15.7 million views. This is just so satisfying to watch. 17.8 thousand comments. The first bottom scroll is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Covered up the cool green one. Unusual way of drawing. I like it. I mean, this is so satisfying and it looks pretty simple. Like you just choose a color palette and then you do like a little swishy, swishy, wooshy, wooshy. This seems, uh, this seems doable. So this one is so relaxing and like this is her style of art. It looks so calming. I do feel as if I am prone to making things a little more chaotic. So we'll see how this goes for me. But I, I figured that I should do some like practice strokes. So she's kind of doing like some swooshies back to back and it's kind of like hanging on to like one corner going all the way around and doing like a, like a whoosh. I like that all the paint goes on the canvas first and then you do like the, the swooshy swoopies. I'm gonna do a bunch of white and then I'm gonna add like rainbow all the way down famous Last color choices as well too to make shit color. I think I'm just gonna And hopefully that's okay. Acrylic also dries kind of fast. So I'm like should I like start doing my swoopies? I think I should. I think I should. Okay, here we go Whoa Oh Bitch, oh that looks good Woo! It only goes up from here, baby. Famous last words <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't add other colors. I might just like start yellow again here, down here, because it looks really good. Ooh, this looks good. Also, this is really calming. This little swoop looks so good, but I know that I have to fill in that little white part, but I don't wanna f it up. Am I done? <laughs> I like don't know what to exactly stop. Okay, now I'm done. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna peel the tape off and we can admire to see what it actually looks like when it's got like a frame on it to see if it looks like quote unquote real art. This is like a generic piece of art that like either Ikea sells or like an Airbnb has. It's giving Airbnb, but like not in a bad way. Okay, this next artist definitely has some controversy in the comments. Carolyn Mara, it's essentially making abstract art with a mop. I am all for using interesting and unique Paint tools, I'm, I'm here for it, I'm absolutely here for it. This has 19.2 million views. I get a lot of criticism for painting with a mop, but, okay, and so she just like smacks it down, and, okay, I'm gonna stay out of this, but I feel as if I have a sense as to what the comments are gonna be. I feel like abstract art is more about the artist and less about See, I'm gonna get rosy for this. I don't even know how to say this. People get heated when they see what looks like it could just be like a slip, a slap, a slop of paint on a canvas. And they're like, oh, I'm sorry, you're gonna charge me $10,000 for that. I don't know what her pieces retail at. But this is definitely like living room, dining room, hotel art that you would see at like restoration hardware worth like $20,000. And people in the comments get a little heated. 
excited about that. So I have purchased myself this very specific mop. I feel like mops now are like a little more high tech where they've got like the squeegee and stuff on them. So I had to buy a very specific mop for this. And I've prepped and primed a canvas and um, let's mop some art. Feeling super cool right now. Got my bucket and a mop, that's a wop, that's a wop. She smacks it down. She really smacks it down. Here we go. Art, twenty thousand dollars, please. Uh, so this looks pretty good. <laughs> like mop lady was kind of onto something. I have truly never felt stupider doing a DIY project, but like with the frame untaped and like having it look like it goes off the canvas this looks pretty good this could totally be hotel art this could be above a bed in a hotel a hundred percent yo mop lady you're not wrong you're not wrong <laughs> One point four million views and a shit ton of Barbie shoes. I am absolutely obsessed. Like I'm seriously gonna consider picking up one of their pieces because they're so fun and so unique. So they use resin on a canvas with Barbie shoes. You know that I've worked with resin before. Big fan. I've never like adhered anything using resin to a canvas before. So this is gonna be a first for me. And instead of uh, Barbie shoes, I'm gonna try something more edible, but then I guess it becomes very much less edible once it's dunked in resin. I have gummy bears. I'm gonna try it with gummy bears because this is their thing. They do the Barbie shoes and I am by no means coming for um, their art style because they are absolutely crushing this. But I wanted to set mine apart a little bit and I also, don't have any Barbie shoes, so we are going to uh, give this a try and make some um, some resin gummy bear art, not for eating. So they use just some masking tape to like make a grid to make sure all of the Barbie shoes are properly separated. And to be honest, this is the part that I would normally YOLO very hard and just hope for the best. But here I am putting in the maximum amount of effort because it's for the cause, it's for the people. It's for the gummy bears, honestly. Yeah, I was gonna say, hang on a second. Hang on a second, got a big brain. I'm gonna use it. My brain is very average sized. I thought that I needed many, many gummy bears. I'm realizing that I probably didn't need three pounds. This is not the worst kind of leftovers, you know? I can already hear Jeremy complaining that these are knockoff gummy bears because they're Kroger brand. <laughs> it tastes the same to me. Whoa, my. <gasps> what in the f is this? It only makes sense that they get used in a good way that's useful and resourceful. So now, are you gonna glue them down before the resin? No. Okay. They're pretty naturally gluey. <laughs> as much as I do love a good YOLO, I do find comfort in knowing that these are all exactly even. Like, that is kind of nice. Oh, f me. I guess since like the measurements don't exactly measure up, I've got a wider side here and here. Damn it! I should have just yellowed it. I should have just yellowed. Because now they're not centered. Do we scoot them all a little bit? I'm gonna go crazy if I don't. When one of these doesn't look in place, we're gonna blame it on the resin having scooted him over a little bit. I feel good about this. Let's resin. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, we gotta bear down, we gotta bear down, we gotta bear down. I'm so sorry, Mr. Orange. Slide back. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. That looks like it's gonna be so good. I'm gonna just make sure all the edges are good, but wow. 
fun. I've never held a gummy bear near um, a lighter before. Normally this is how you get rid of some air bubbles in your resin, but I'm a little bit nervous to light a gummy bear on fire. And now we wait three days for this to cure. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to tweet, Instagram, tag me on TikTok if there's any more viral TikTok DIYs you want me to try. I will see you on Tuesday for a new episode of Wild Till 9 over on the vlog channel and again next weekend for another video. Bye guys! Bye.